Hey, we're here with a new specialized enduro, long travel 29er. Let's see what I can do. So we're here with Specialized Enduro, long travel 29 inch trail bike, enduro bike, mini downhill bike. We've been here with it all afternoon. Owen, oh, you've been riding it, what do you think? Yeah, it is, you could call it a mini downhill bike. It's definitely an enduro bike, but it does pedal when you need it to. There's a lot of travel, big wheels, it plows through everything. Yes, I found that it's um, uh, soaked up everything, but I was really surprised then going up the hill, it still climbed. Yeah, know? and the big Eagle cassette, you could just winch up mm -hmm. pretty much anything. Yeah, it's not a heavy bike either, it's 33 no, pounds. not at all. Yeah. Doesn't feel heavy at all to ride. Yeah. And it is like carbon, they're all yeah. carbon, aren't they? So we've got 170 mil travel, 29 inch wheel, 64 degree head angle. And um, and this is the S3, and that's a little bit, Specialized have changed their sizing, haven't they? Um, instead of going small, medium, large, we've got S2, S3, S4. So we've got yeah. the S3 here, which has got a 464 mil reach. Now, how did you feel that? How, how, how did you find that? It's certainly a long bike. But it's good, a bike like this needs to be long in its reach and it does suit what it's designed for. It suits the big wheels and the big travel, but with a lower seat tube length, you can still get the saddle far enough out of the way. But yeah, it's a new way of sizing, I think it works. So if you want a slightly more nimble handling, you can just go for a size down. If you want that really big, long, stable feel, then you can size up, and but you've sure. still got the standover height. Yeah, exactly, yeah. It's down to where and what you ride but it's certainly um, a very capable bike. Yeah. So who do you think would benefit most from this bike? Um, what kind of rising? I know it's an enduro bike, so obviously it's going to be good for enduro racing, but what else? It's, it's too much for general trail riding, I'd say. Mm. I think the Stump Jumper is the better bike for that. Yeah. Yes, yeah. I mean, great for the bike park. Obviously, if you've got, got it. it up left, you can stick it on, but also you can pedal it back up to the top. Yeah. Yeah, if you don't want to, um, or if you like to ride places that don't have up left. Mm. Um, then it's perfect for that. You can winch yourself back up. That's what I felt though. I felt the climbing position w w was fine, really. It was mm. obviously a little bit heavier than, um, than a modern trail bike, but it's, you know, from my bikes from 10 years ago, this is probably lighter yeah. than those bikes I used to ride trails on. Yeah, it is very light. Feels efficient to pedal. Mm. Once you've got it up to speed, it really holds its momentum. Yeah, it's a very practical bike, obviously, as well. We've got um, things like the yeah. swap tool in here. We've got the swap box for storing your um, trail essentials. How do you find that? How, how, is that a gimmick or is it really, really something useful, do you think? I think it's very useful. It's great, you can stash a waterproof layer in there, a mm. bit of food. You haven't got to carry a bum bag or a backpack. You've got your tools on you. I think there's even a chain breaker in that tool, Yeah, which is that's all you need then, isn't it? It's, yeah, it's very, it's not a gimmick anymore. Definitely works. Yeah, there we go. Specialized Enduro, definitely works. <laughs>